Hey there friends, thanks for checking in and welcome to another video in my series called One Handgun, One Shotgun, and One Rifle. Today we're going to feature classical historic firearms. And we'll start right here with the handgun. It's a Browning High Power Mark III model. A beautiful single action, full size handgun that was Browning's last design. It carries 10 rounds in the magazine. Now I know Metgar makes higher capacity magazines. I have a couple of those, but this is where it started. It was, it's a double stack, which was considered high power back in the day. Check that out. A 4.6 inch barrel. It does have a magazine disconnect and a thumb safety that is ambidextrous. Fixed rear and front sights, polymer grip, $1,109 was the MSRP when this was in production. If you have one of these, it's worth some money and it's only gone up over time. Let's take a few shots and failure to feed. Failure to feed. I'm not sure what's going on here. All these are not feeding well. I may need to lube it up a bit. All right, let me try that again and we'll see what happens. All right, what I did was I have this stuff in my range bag, let away, and I just gave it a quick scrub down and it seemed to have done the trick. But there it is, Browning High Power, excellent handgun. Many people say that the, the CZ-75 was modeled that, off of this gun, and I believe it was, but I'm not a great historical buff, so I'm sure somebody will let us know. Now let's get to that shotgun. The shotgun that I'm featuring today is a New England Firearms single shot 20 gauge. Check that out. Many people told me that they have this shotgun. It was passed down from their grandparents. They love it. They hunt small game with it and they love the 20 gauge. Now the 20 gauge is a good home defense choice. Everybody in the family can use it. I'm not saying a single shot is the best choice. I'm just saying the load, the 20 gauge load is a nice choice for home defense primarily because everybody can use it now it does have a hammer that needs to be cocked back but once it is it's live and then it also has an ejector smooth shooting not hard on the shoulder at all will go down below there. there we go and this is a seven shot we'll take one more Seven shot, target load, let's go up top there. All right. You gotta love the single shot shotguns. They're inexpensive. Pawn shops is where you can pick these up cheap. And it's definitely a historical firearm. And I've had this for a while and I really do love it. Now let's get to that rifle. The rifle that I'm featuring today is a Mosin Nagant chambered in 7.62 by 54R, very powerful round. Now you may look at this and say, that doesn't look like a Mosin Nagant to me. Well, it actually is. This is a Franken rifle, which means all the parts were just assembled together. And you could do that with the Mosin. You could take a bunch of parts and it should all work together. The stock here is an ATI Monte Carlo stock. And I've had this for quite a while and it works pretty well. So let's go ahead and set it up and we'll take a few shots. Most of the guns have heavy recoil. They were made to shoot over a thousand yards during the world wars. And um, they used to sell for about $69 and they really have gone up in price. And the ammo has too, it used to be dirt cheap. You could get the spam cans for like 89 bucks. Now it's like over 200, but let's go ahead and take a few shots. I've got my cheapest target and my cheapest shepherd's hook, just in case it gets ruined from this. I hit something there. Try it again. May have gone right through it. And yeah, <laughs> it's going right through it. That's not AR-500. And even if it was, 
it may be a little too close and too powerful. Wow. The Mosin Nagant. The wood stacks actually look nicer than this, but this has a bit of a recoil pad and it certainly fires those 762 by 54R rounds quite well. Thanks for watching another video in the series One Handgun, One Shotgun, One Rifle. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.